I'm going to spin this wheel. I'm going to spin it with a high angular momentum, high spin angular momentum. And then I'm going to sit on this stool, and I'm going to torque exactly as you see on the picture on the right. I'm going to torque like this. And as long as I torque it like this, that spin angular momentum wants to go around in the horizontal plane. And when I torque the other way around, it will go back in the horizontal plane. Torque exactly as you see on the picture there. You ready? I stop the torque, nothing happens. I torque backwards, I keep torquing. I keep torquing, I feel it in my hand, I really have to push. I keep torquing, and I stop torquing and it stops. So the angular momentum vector is chasing, so to speak, the torque. Is that non-intuitive? Very non-intuitive? It's also dangerous sometimes. We call this motion of the stool, and in this case the motion of the spinning wheel, we call that precession. So you apply a torque to a spinning wheel, then what you obtain is a precession. 